Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. Today we will learn how to collect metrics in bulk via a single request and then split them into multiple dependent items on the Zabbix side, thus reducing the number of required API calls or commands and reducing the data collection performance overhead. For our example, we will be obtaining weather data from Open Weather Maps API, but you can reproduce this with any other API endpoint or command line tool. First, let's create a host that will represent the location for which we wish to obtain the weather data. Navigate to Configuration, Hosts, and press the Create Host button. Let's give this host a name and assign it to a host group. We will also have to add an interface to this host since the item that we will be using to obtain the master data will require an interface. The interface address does not matter in this case since we will not be using it. Once the host is prepared, click the add button. Find your host and click on the items button to open the items section of the host. Click on the Create Item button. Let's create our master item. The item will be obtaining bulk weather data in JSON format. Let's give our item a name. Next, select the item type. Since we will be connecting to an API endpoint, we are going to use the HTTP agent item. Next, provide an arbitrary key and your API endpoint address. We will use the default request type get. Set the type of information to text and leave the update interval as one minute. Now click Add to create the item. Let's take a look at how the collected data is going to look like. We can see that it contains many different metrics and is stored in JSON format. For our example, we wish to obtain the pressure and humidity information. Let's move back to our front end and create two dependent items. Press the Create Item button. Our new item will be called humidity, and this time we will use the dependent item item type. The key for this item is once again an arbitrary string. Next, let's select the master item. Here we will use the item that we created in our previous step. Next, we need to switch to the pre-processing tab so we can define how we're going to extract the humidity information from our master item. We will use the JSON path preprocessing step and define the JSON path string to extract the numeric humidity value from our master item. Once that is done, let's add the item. For our second item, let's use the clone functionality. Open up the humidity item that we created just now and click the clone button. On the cloned item, let's replace the name and the key to pressure, since this item will be collecting pressure information. Then, open the preprocessing tab and edit the JSON path expression, so it points at the pressure value in the master item JSON data. Once that is done, press the Add button. Let's wait for a moment so our values get collected. And then switch over to Monitoring, Latest Data, and look up the host on which we are collecting the weather data. We can see that the humidity and pressure information is being correctly extracted from the master item. Now you have learned how to collect bulk information 
by using a single call and then use Zabbix to split it up into multiple dependent items.